Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing about the RPA, uh, all the modules from starting till the end. So uh, you make sure you watch this video only if you have watched the previous past packages videos because you won't understand anything if you just watch this video because I'll be going through very very fast. Just as a quick revision after you've done everything, just want to have a quick glance of whatever you have revised, okay? For that only this video is. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's get started. And this link, uh, this document link is in the description box, okay? You can uh, download that. So totally we have 26 topics. So uh, in the module 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that we have the topics distributed some has 7, some has 6, 5 like that okay. So we'll be going through each topic one by one and discussing what are the uh, important points you have to remember. The first question is what is RPA and what are the tasks of RPA. RPA is nothing but first you have to write the full form robotic process automation and uh, it does the repetitive digital based task uh, on the, uh, some time limit okay. And it can perform the following task. For this task you have to remember some person who is helping another person in an exam hall by sending an answer. So what are the key you can remember the person cutted and pasted information from the browser to an email app and then opened a website and logged in and attached some things here then uh, sent to the other person the other person's uh, database got that information and it was present in the database and the extraction was done and then the calculation of the workflow is also done okay in that we have to remember the tasks of rpa then we have the flavors of our rpa mainly we have three attended rpa unattended and ai rpa attended means human is needed as assistant here no human is needed and here intelligent means here uh, it uh, performs uh, via using AI advantages disadvantages for this you have to remember a small businessman who started his business with a very small uh, domain and he used to make small small improvements so he beca uh, became a big businessman and uh, by use of relative ease of implementing he uh, implemented all the loss easily whatever he had to do he was very compliant customer service was provided employee was satisfied his data means the business goes wi uh, got wide it was wide application and the data quality was also good he transformed his business to digital sector and was scalable in cost of ownership you have to remember a story where you have you are going to buy an iphone at that time there will be many rush there and you'll be preparing and going right so the uh, thing is iphone is costly and technical debt means the iphone previous one got old so it is technical debt enterprise scale it's a very large uh, place there so it's an enterprise scale security will also be there expectation is that you will also get an iphone from there preparation will take some hammer and go to beat the people and limits is that you cannot uh, get more than what uh, the limited uh, number of iphones available right so those are the advantages Advantage disadvantage in that way you have to remember and update no onwards. Next we have RPA with BPM, BPO, and BPA. BPA means business process management. A small part of the whole business if you use uh, using RPA that is called as business process management. BPO means outsourcing. Outsourcing means if you have to uh, take some source code you are taking from other uh, country, whether it be another state, another country, or it is connected via sea only. Okay, it's not connected by land. That are the three uh, layers of. Um, outsourcing and it also has some uh, limitations of security cost and politics bp is a business process automation in that the entire business is automated on premise versus cloud what is on premise means uh, the system resource will be there in the company itself and cloud means the system resource will be there in some remote location and these are the important terms web is nothing but a domain where the developers have included all the websites that is to be used ocr is optical character recognition to recognize a text from an image and databases means you'll be storing the data in that api is application programming interface you'll be using an interface in between two apps ai is artificial intelligence cognitive automation is doing automation using ai agile means quick and iterative development and scrum means it is a subset of agile but it is more quicker kanban is the japanese technique in which you'll be using the images to keep track of the program waterfall is the method in which you'll be having some stages you'll be completing first stage then second third fourth like that will be going devops is the development operations will be performing all operations that is needed to be uh, developed something moving on uh, we have the module 2 in which we have the uh, components of rpa there are totally five components of rpa you have to remember in this way rdp bc okay so r is recorder d is development studio p is plugin extension b is bot trainer and c is control center here draw three pro uh, boxes here and this box you have to divide into two parts here you will write the development studio and here will be writing the app and the runner and both will be controlled by control center and we have the rpa platform tool six are there what are its functions it just provides the automation that's all some do for the business some do for machine learning for more information what the theory we will get to know automation anywhere ui path blue prism work fusion and thoughtnomy and cofax in ui path stack we have three things ui path studio robot and orchestrator or studios for the development robot is for automating and orchestrator is for the managing purpose 
Next, we have the uh, UI path interface designer and the control panels. So you have to remember this diagram start from here. This top thing, what you can see is called as ribbon. This is quick panel and these are all the different types of panels, right? You can easily remember. Ribbon, quick access toolbar, designer panel, property, outline, argument, variable, import, activity, uh, library, project, and output. Whatever this name says, those are all needs meanings, okay? And basically, we have the um, four types of recording. Basic recorder, desktop, web, and Citrix. Basic is just for uh, recording simple tasks. Desktop is for complex tasks. Web is for recording web tasks. And Citrix is for a remote environment. And the same way we have the emptying trash in Gmail and emptying the recycle bin. You have to watch the tutorials for the exact steps. But basically what we do, start, open browser, go to Gmail, sign in, go to trash folder, click on empty trash, confirm and end. You have to write the steps and explain in detail. Same goes for here also, open recycle bin, click manage, empty and confirm. Moving on to the module 3, we have the different kinds of activities. What are these names? Are that only the activities. Assign is for assigning some value to variable. Delay is for delaying some time. Break is for breaking out of the uh, loop. While is for doing the while. Do while is checking a condition and uh, executing something. For each means iteratively doing something. Uh, if means you are checking a condition and doing the activity. Switch means you are checking which condition matches based on that you are giving the output. Variables are used for just one project and arguments are used for uh, different workflows. Okay. And four types are there. In means uh, just input uh, from any other workflow. Out means sent to any other workflow. In out means both the operations are possible in and out. And property means it specifies what is not currently being used. Then we have the data scraping and Excel activities that marks the end of the module 3. Here in data, data scraping two things are there building table and building table dynamically both of these you have to watch the video otherwise you'll not get to know simply if i tell some information is there here if you want to uh, just know basically we created a table that's how it is once you uh, create a table the other thing is uh, extracting the information and building a table okay excel activities read and write uh, uh, sheet cells it's also easy you just have to uh, put excel application scope activity and by using a file you will be uh, accessing or uh, reading or writing whatever you want to do you will do okay that is about the excel activities moving on to the module 4 we have the different kinds of find control so these are the different find controls anchor base for uh, specifying some anchor to an element element exists if it exists it gives true else false element scope what is the scope, of, scope of element find the children of element uh, find the element itself find the relative element to it up down uh, bottom or right and uh, get ancestor get indicate on screen for the weight we have three types of weight element weight or uh, image weight or attribute weight mouse keyboard activity is very easy mouse has click double click or hover and keyboard we have the hotkey type into and type secure text Handling, we have the three things element trigger, which itself contains key, uh, click and key press, both uh, mouse and the keyboard. Image trigger, if the image vanishes, it will give some information. System trigger, it is hotkey, mouse, and system trigger. Okay, system means both keyboard and mouse. Screen scraping, full text means it will just capture text. Native will do both the text and the uh, background text, and OCR is just for the uh, images text. Okay. And uh, the typical failure points, uh, selector variable like uh, star or question mark, if it is not that it's called a selector variable, scope of variable, how, how much the variable can be accessed, if you access more than that, it will uh, produce an error, delaying uh, some activity, if the element does not exist, trying to access that, try and catch method you have not implemented, and two string is not written, so it is just in the same format, and it's not possible to print. Then we have the module 5 exceptional handling here. We have try catch and common exceptions. Try catch, try to perform an activity, catch if the error is there. Finally, execute if the error was not there. Common exceptions include these things un unavailability of the an element or handling runtime exception. Orbit reference is not found, means default item is not set. Index is out of range or image is not found or any generic error. For client versus server logging, client logging is saved in the desktop and server logging is saved in the server. Debugging techniques here we have four setting a breakpoint where you want to stop slow step if you want to slow down any step Highlighting wherever you have performed the step in the automation if you want to highlight that break means coming out of the loop Collecting uh, crash dumps whenever system get crashed some information is produced that is what is called a uh, crash dump that you are collecting so for that you will have to download the software okay that's all make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more just like this don't forget to watch the tutorial videos you'll get uh, in-depth information and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one